Hey, what is up guys? Young Soviet here, and I'm back today with another Injustice Gods Among Us video. Now today, I'm uh, recording in my little studio desk area I have in my room. I made it specifically for my Injustice shit that I make, so uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty hyped about that. Also, I love everyone who's subscribed to me, checked out my content, giving me great feedback. I love it. Um, you guys are really making me want to make more videos. Anyway, and I wanted to make this video to help out all Injustice players and, um, excuse me, let me take my gum out. I want to make this video to help out all Injustice players and all, uh, new incoming ju Injustice players who are checking out my content. So, uh, this video is, uh, going to be titled, um, Tips and Tricks of the Trade for Injustice or something like that. Um, so what I, what this video is about is I'm going to be giving you all, my tips and tricks that involve this game and uh i did not look up any of these on the internet or uh, watch other videos these are all personally mine on what these are all personally my tips and tricks that uh i think will help you become a better injustice player and uh, not only that i kind of scripted this so um i wrote down a little bit i have the script next to me i wrote down and jot jotted some notes on uh what i'm going to be talking about so anyway before I get into that, I want you to check out all my other content, watch all my other videos, uh, like and comment, um, request for what you want to see, and uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Now, anyway, let's get down to business. Now, my uh, my first area of uh, tips and tricks of the trade is I'm going to be going over tips and tricks of the trade that involve the store. Now, um... Now, a lot of people when they play, they don't know what they're doing or what to do, but I'm going to simplify this. Now, A, I'm going to be going over what packs you should buy. Now, packs I always recommend buying are the Challenge Booster Packs. Always buy these. These contain, um, you can get any random character just looking at the uh, chances, and uh, these chances are really high, almost 3%, and considering what cards you're going to get, you're going to get any challenge character out of this pack, so I always recommend buying this challenge booster pack, no matter what. Now, uh, packs I don't recommend buying, never buy the gear locker, okay? Never buy it. Just never buy it. It is a waste of money, and the chances of you getting Raz al Ghul's dagger is a 1%, and you are almost on almost... It doesn't stack. Uh, the, I mean, uh, uh, Injustice, they don't do the... Uh, what's, what's, the, what's the goddamn thing I'm thinking of? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's thinking about, but it doesn't use the stack method on where... Um, where, uh, say, in like a lottery, you do something like 70 times and you haven't won anything, and once it knows you're about to quit, it gives you it. It does not do that. It is literally random. I swear to you. So do not buy the gear locker. Um, also, do not buy the gold pack. I honestly do not recommend buying the gold pack. Unless you're starting out trying to get those gold characters, I never recommend you buying this pack, okay? Uh, because you want to get actual good challenge characters, do not buy the gold booster pack. Uh, kind of waste of money unless you're starting out of course then of course get it maybe a couple times don't always buy it N always go for the challenge booster pack that is literally the best deal you can ever get also don't ever directly promote characters it is a waste of money see if you go into promote uh, collection and you go characters well everything's fully uh, promoted so but for on this account but um if you go if you go into promote you'll be spending like over 400,000 credits just to um just to promote someone so I don't ever recommend buying that. Also, I don't ever recommend buying giving I don't ever recommend buying excuse me. Don't ever recommend buying their daily deals as in like this 19 20 dollars US for contains Batman, Ninja, Lord Joker, Pistol, Gear 3, uh support cards and 100,000 power credits. Uh, a total fucking ripoff. Don't buy that. Also, don't buy the don't buy any of the packs that cost money. They will always rip you off. Including uh some of the new packs that used to cost credits, like the Arkham Knight pack and uh like the Red Sun pack. Those cost money. Don't buy them unless you really want Arkham Knight Batman. Now, now that we've gone through the um also silver packs, bronze packs. It's really up to you. They're really cheap. I honestly, if you want to level up your bronze and silver characters, I uh, and don't want to focus on your gold characters, I recommend always getting these. Okay, 
these these are those these are just like very these are just reasonably priced uh the gear locker is not you are going to get a whole ton of crappy gear so i don't ever recommend buying the gear locker i really don't recommend buying the gold booster always get the challenge pack now uh we're going to move over to our nith metal or nith metal i don't know how you pronounce it but um i want to talk about this um on here um okay so the nith metal 200 pack um I wouldn't recommend buying it if you're trying to get a metal character, okay? If you're trying to get a metal character, I don't recommend buying it. If you're trying to get like a cool challenge character, let's uh for example, um you can get a uh, Blackest Night Doomsday in this pack. And like in my other videos I showed you in my uh all working glitches video, which you can check out, um I was able to get this like three different times and and he's a challenge character, so that's really good. If you're looking to upgrade uh, Blackest Night Doomsday, I highly recommend buying this pack and seeing if you can roll the dice with your chances on that. So anyway, don't, don't, you have a very slim chance of getting metal characters since they're all 2%. You only have a 12% chance. I don't really recommend buying this, but I do recommend buying this if you are like in need of looking for, like I said, Blackest Night Doomsday, you can get Red Sun uh green lantern and uh a couple other cool cards just look at this um uh yeah there's a list somewhere i'm pretty sure on the wiki page of injustice where it shows you uh what what uh the contents of is, is in this pack but um if you're looking for like just an a, a great challenge character like per se dawn of justice uh superman or um like i said red sun green lantern or uh, just just the or luchador bane just those types of characters not like the really crappy challenge characters but the semi good ones recommend buying this now uh nith metal 400 pack i almost always recommend buying this if you're trying to get a metal character always buy this and if you don't get a metal character that's fine you're still going to get a really cool a really good challenge character that isn't in the challenge booster or the 200 and challenge characters by i mean are ch characters like Batman Animated Beyond, um, uh, Arkham Knight, Catwoman, Arkham Knight, Batgirl, those types of characters. The ones that you can't find in this challenge booster pack, you will get in here. Like uh, the good characters like Batman Ninja Batman, Lord Joker, you're going to get one of those. And it is, and not only that, you have a pretty good chance of getting a metal character. You have a literally almost a 50% chance of getting a metal character. So I almost always recommend buying this 400 pack. Um, always, okay? And uh, if not, if you want to buy two 200s, you probably won't get a medal, but you will get semi-good challenge characters. So if you want, if you prefer getting more challenge characters over trying to get metal characters, I recommend buying the 200. But if you want a good challenge character, get the 400. It is a great, not not really a great deal, but it's it's better. Now the 800 pack, um, never buy this pack, honestly. Don't buy this pack unless you unless you strongly want a metal character like if you just really want a good chance of getting a metal character get this or if you just want a random challenge character and a random online challenge character get this pack so like for example um not only that you'll get a whole bunch of i forgot you'll get augments and uh some maybe some epic set gear pieces but that's that's rare honestly you you'll get some crappy gear uh, and you'll get some okay augments, but without, but no, but I don't really care about augments right now. I'm kind of going over what care cards people want because they're not really going for the augments, they're going for the cards. Um, so anyway, you'll get one random, you'll either get one random uh, online uh, season reward, which is a uh, card, which is like, you know, Flashpoint uh, Deathstroke, Flashpoint Aquaman, Blackest Night Superman. Uh, it's too bad the Blackest Night Flash isn't in this pack, or this would be really good, because uh, it would be awesome. Anyway, you have a 60% chance of getting a metal character, and uh, I'm pretty sure you have a 30% chance of getting two of the exact same metal character. But I don't recommend getting that, because that's a 30% chance and that you're not going to get two. So 
if you have 800, I just recommend buying two 400s. Chances are you're going to get two medals. Um, 800, chances are you're only going to get one medal or one challenge multi-season reward. Uh, so, yeah, this is my advice on uh, the store and what to buy. So, anyway, that I'll give you a brief run-through of, of what I just covered. Do not buy the money packs. A waste of time, especially the daily gold pack. Don't buy the Justice League pack either unless you're starting out and just want good characters immediately. Then I recommend wasting your money on that. Do not buy the 800 pack unless you really just want one metal character. You're just sick of all the bullshit. You want a metal character. Buy the 400 pack if uh, you're just looking to get a metal character or a really good challenge character. Buy the 200 if you're not really looking for a metal character. You're kind of just, you're hoping for one, but you kind of just want just any random okay challenge character always buy the challenge booster pack you'll get really good stuff uh don't really recommend buying the gold booster pack when you're starting to like get easing into injustice uh don't buy that unless you've literally just started the game uh even if you really have just started the game still don't buy it go for a challenge character they're way better uh gear locker never buy and uh silver and bronze packs always recommend buying if you're looking to level up those cards so anyway these were my tips and tricks of the store now uh some people were requesting how to obtain alliance credits um the only way which are these the only way you can get these is by uh logging in every day on injustice and uh just getting the daily rewards you get for logging in that's the only way you can obtain them that i know you'll get maybe like maybe like 10 every month or so uh that's not bad or no 10 maybe every two weeks i'm pretty sure uh i haven't really checked the challenges or the daily uh rewards so anyway that's how you get um alliance credits how you obtain nith metal you can either buy obviously you can either buy it in the store or you can obtain it in survivor uh using the survivor glitch will may, may be able to get you in infinite um nith metal just check out my uh all working current glitches video that's in it and um that's about it for nith metal uh also you can also obtain it in um multi-season rewards by ranking in a by ranking in a place of what you want or but or what am i saying by uh ranking in the top five percent basically so anyway that's how you obtain nith metal and um standard credits you just obtain doing battles any battle it varies through uh battle difficulty and uh, you can also obtain it in multi-season rewards and you can obtain it randomly also um that's about it for uh, that's about it for the store. Now I want to get into tips and tricks on the cards themselves. Um, let's go to collection. Now all these cards are pretty much fully augmented, but um, I recommend distribu distributing augments. Don't just waste it all on one card. Okay, that that's kind of bad because you're gonna want uh you you're gonna want your cards to vary through character through character. Um, that's that's just what I that's just what i feel like uh have it vary but um anyway that's that's it for augments uh you can't really do anything it's really up to you um with augments now uh next up i'm reading here how to quickly level up your characters now um if anything uh you just got to grind through battles and um if you want you can go to gear cards let me highest score if you want you can go through gear cards and uh where is it uh, the Riddler staff will uh, give a 15% XP bonus to the team, which is uh, which will uh, level them up even faster. Also, always play when uh, the three-day uh, double XP reward comes out. So that makes that that doubles the amount of XP you get for leveling up your characters. So always, always play and always grind during that. And um, also, a little tip here: uh, if you're looking up. Excuse me, if you're looking up to level up your bronze characters and your dark side isn't isn't fully maxed out because if it is, this really won't work because you're going to get paired with really, really hard teams because of the shitty pairing. I don't know why. Just look up a video on why the pairing is so bad, but uh, put the put the Riddler staff on one of the 
uh, bronze characters and just put two bronze, one dark side. Dark side gives 300% damage and health to bronze teammates, and you'll be able to level up those guys like it was nothing on online um, battles. And, and it will give you a chance to play with them. So that's how you level up your cards faster. Now, gear. How do you level up gear? Honestly, you just got to do the survivor glitch and just constantly get those last laugh tickets and constantly ge and constantly be getting those um those uh shards or whatever they're called. Constantly get be getting those shards by by shattering gear like for instance, I'll shatter. See, we have 17 of these. Just just always shatter. I recommend shattering anything uh Three star or under. I really don't play with three star gears. Unless you're starting out, maybe you can level up your uh, four star gears to get a start and then start playing on multi season rewards to get these good gears and fully uh, max them out like I have already. So just destroy any gears you don't need, okay? Like any of them. It doesn't matter. Just shatter them and just quickly level up and just grind. If how I grind with cards is I just constantly play Injustice um, online to where it's like I have 300,000 credits. I'm like, how did I get that many in like a spam of two hours? So that's how you quickly uh, can uh, grind uh, uh, credits. Uh, I don't see any other easy way to get them. Uh, that's the only way you can unless you want to buy, of course, which nobody wants. Now... Now I'm going to go into tips and tricks that involve online battle. Okay? Now, um, uh, tips and tricks when, let's just go here. Uh, what I like to do is I like to always have a team that's uh, distributed. Like, I want one character to have offensive gear. And um, I want one character to have offensive gear. And then I want to have a character with... Uh, kind of a passive offensive and then I want one character that's kind of a tank so that's how I always set up my cards that's how that's how I set up my gear cards so I'm not gonna review the gear cards because that'll take way too long but look brief look at them briefly look over them on maybe the wiki page or some other YouTube uh, video to um, just see what 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 their passives are and uh, see if they work for the card that you want to play with that's that's basically how you're going to be able to um it's basically how you're going to be able to distribute um anyway uh also let's just do a quick one battle i'm not going to play uh always a good tip to um scout out your opponents and their gear so and and think about like think ahead of time on um think ahead of time on what you're going to be doing like for say uh you see that harley quinn has a fourth world set you think okay if uh and this really works when say you don't have maxed out characters and you're on that seventh hard battle and you're like oh man <sighs> think about in your head before you play how you're going to approach it and what you're going to do that's what i do and that's how i always keep grinding and we look at raven uh and account of and take account of what gear cards they have and how you're going to counter it. I can't really give advice on that right now because that'll take too long. But just think ahead. Always think ahead before you play how you're going to approach the situation. It's, and this, this is a given to life too. How are you going to approach the problem? If there's a problem in life, how are you going to approach it? You take a step back and you think and you strategize. So that's how that's what I would recommend for being a good multiplayer uh person um and basically yeah that's how you and how do you grind i just constantly constantly play find opponents and i just constantly play see i got two hours i attacked two hours ago uh that was my last battle yeah and it looks like i got attacked like 10 minutes ago by the same person man this guy really must have a grudge also on gear cards, what I like to do is when I see a gear card challenge is I like to go on leaderboards and here's what I like to do. Uh, I like to stay just in the gold one tier, okay? And I am and I always look at the tier right below my tier to make sure that they're not catching up. So see, they have 13, 313,000. I have 569,000. I'm pretty okay. I really don't need to attack right now. I think I can... Uh, 
wait it out for the next 19 hours. And with uh, when when a, there's a challenge card coming out, this is how I level up my card so quickly. Is I always shoot. What did I? Is uh, I always stay in the um. Uh, is I always stay in the star tier. Now the star tier varies. Um. Uh, it can go basically the one percent. It it can go. I'm pretty sure the limits at like three hundred or four hundred. So um, I what I do is I look at the top ranking person in uh the gold four tier and I make sure I have a I have a lead on them like maybe a two hundred thousand lead and I just keep that lead and I always keep checking to make sure they're not catching up accidentally because I want to stay ahead and I want to rank and get those three copies because you can get three copies if you rank in the top one percent tier and how do you do that you just got to grind you just got to be committed to the game so that's what i recommend uh for online tips and tricks that's how i that that's that's basically how i grind on that and now i'm pretty sure there are um let's see here let me look at my notes here um so survivor uh i recommend no no Phantom Zone, Phantom Zone, Phantom Zone, how I recommend doing this is, uh, I literally, um, I always go elite, but sometimes, no, 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 if, uh, if you have some pretty good cards, like, you're actually a good player, I almost always recommend getting elite, so that way you can, uh, that way you can upgrade your metal characters, trust me, metal characters take way too long to upgrade, and they're almost a complete waste of time because they they will take so long for you to fully promote and upgrade. So, but if you want to upgrade them and in order to upgrade their super moves or special attacks, you have to get a uh, a uh, Valium alloy to upgrade that and doing always the elites. The elites aren't even hard. See, uh confirm. See, they're not even hard. Perform 195 specials, apply 80 total stun, win 20 matches, steal 393% thousand health they're not that hard honestly and um and uh, you just got to grind at it you just got to look and then set up a team that will accomplish what challenge you want and see you can get a free reef reef re-roll um i recommend maybe re-rolling once because it costs five nith metal and you're gonna waste a lot if you keep re-rolling so ones that i recommend uh re-rolling are probably like this apply 80 total stun effects that'll take way too long now 80 super moves yeah re-roll that and uh, apply 120 total dot effects that's doable i recommend that that's doable that's my uh phantom zone um tips and tricks here uh that's that's really what you got to do in the phantom zone most of this game is just grinding you just got to grind and um anyway uh survivor that's that's not really a challenge because of the survivor it because of the survivor glitch you can play it uh, many times as you want, go check it out in my, uh, all working glitches. If you don't know what that is, but that's, that's, that's just my tips and tricks on the survivor. There really isn't as well. If you can play unlimited, uh, it really doesn't matter if you, there's really no strategy for that. And, um, breakthrough, there really isn't no strategy for the breakthrough. Uh, any silver characters I haven't unlocked promotion X, you just, you just got to put in a team and you're, you're basically going to win, but, uh, it does cost 10 energy. So I would, that's a little bit of a rip off in my opinion. So you want to, you want to make sure you're fully committed to, uh, promoting one person past elite seven, uh, to uh, do this because that'll cost a lot of energy and for some people they want to play and play the same characters over and over again in um, online battles so beware of that uh, keep your energy bars uh, conserved there might be some glitches on how to get a free energy refill I don't know about those though and uh, anyway I'm pretty sure this is where I'm going to end the video off now uh, I want I'm probably going to make a part two because I definitely did not cover all of them, but I am on a little bit of a time crunch here. So I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I want everyone to check out all my other videos and uh, just subscribe to me, please. Um, I will upload more tips and tricks. Trust me, I will. Also, uh, if anyone can give me an Injustice 2 account, uh, Mortal Kombat account, or uh, Marvel Contest of Champions account that's hacked or semi-hacked, I will give you a free Injustice 1 hacked account uh, unbanned. Also, look forward to uh, a video coming out on um, 
a free account hacked account giveaway stay tuned to that uh, please comment on what you want. Uh, I believe I say this a lot of times, but the more I say it, the more it'll get into your head. So please, please request. Tell me what I can do better. I will be making intros for those who've actually stayed this long to the end of the video. I will be making uh, intros and I will uh, be editing, editing my videos better once I get familiar with YouTube Studio and the edit features. So um, anyway... Thank you for watching. I appreciate all my subscribers and all my fans. This video, uh, I wasn't going to make this video, but um, I honestly want to help you guys out. Uh, please check out all my other videos. And uh, re I was going to say it again, but request what you want to see, okay? So anyway, I'm Young Soviet, and I'm... Sus I'm <laughs> oh my god. Before I sign out, I want to say English is not my first language. So for any of you in the comments trolling saying uh, that my English is bad... English was not my first language, so give me a break. So anyway, I'm signing out. I'm Young Soviet. Peace out, my brothers.